Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, Bring you a week one NFL matchup between the Atlanta Falcons and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, here's some things you want to watch out for when these two teams play, starting with the Falcons. You look at that quarterback, Matt Ryan, looked impressive in the preseason. We know they can run the football with Michael Turner back there. We know they're going to throw the football first to Tony Gonzalez. What impressed me is those outside receivers look in sync with the offense, so the offense is going to be fine. The interior offensive line of the Falcons must be able to hold up against that pass rush against the Steelers. That's one matchup to watch. You look at those two outside, those outside linebackers going to put those pressures, that pressure on those offensive tackles. So Ryan is important to Ryan not to step back and to get, deliver the ball. He has to step up in the pocket. Otherwise, it could be a sack. Defensively, they're going to be facing Charlie Bash, I believe. So they have to make sure that outside of John Abraham, someone has to get pressure on a, on a quarterback. You want to load up and stop the run and force Bash to get back there and beat you. So, Because you know they're going to try to run the football with Dwyer back there as the backup to Mendenhall. So they're going to go run heavy this week until Roethlisberger get back. But if you see Dennis Dixon in the lineup, again, push and set a pressure. That way you can have some success defensively. Now for the Steelers, with Bash back there, he's a veteran. You don't have to trim your offense down is not like you're putting Dennis Dixon back there you can play your game yes he's not Rottlesberger but he is a formidable starter in the NFL so don't be afraid to run and operate off play and throw football throw the football don't just limit your offense because Batch is back there so I like the fact the Steelers went to Batch instead of Dixon so they give them more of a shot to win this game defensively you know when you play in the Falcons they are run first team Ryan loves to operate off play action. You stop the run, you load up and stop the run, and they do a great job of playing the run on the way to the quarterback, because with Ryan, he, he doesn't like to get hit. No quarterback does, but Ryan in particular doesn't like to get hit. But if you get pressure on him early, that ball will come out late. You know it's just gonna go down to the check down, whether it be Snelling, or whether it be Griffin, or whether it be Gonzalez as a tight end spot. He won't look to go to the flanks if you get pressure on him early. So it's important for those cornerbacks to make sure they're up aggressive against the run and making tackles in the run game. But I have to go with Atlanta in this matchup. I think the Falcons are going to go on the road and get still a victory from the Steelers due to the fact that Batch is going to be back there at quarterback. So I believe the Steelers are going to curtail their offense a little bit, providing the Falcons enough to win. It's going to be a close game because the Falcons are, are still figuring out what they want to do with their passing game. I like the Falcons in this matchup. Roddy, Roddy White company, they're against those cornerbacks of the Steelers. That's going to be a matchup to watch. I think the Falcons have the slight edge in that in that department. So I'm going with Atlanta in this matchup. Although if this was a Roethlisberger-led Steelers team, I would have to go with Pittsburgh, especially playing a tough place like Hinesville. Falcons are getting the Steelers at the right time early in the season without Roethlisberger, without the weather elements. So this is a great game set up for the Falcons to win, which is why I'm going with the, with the Atlanta Falcons. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL, or you can visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.